thank you so much for agreeing to share your best practices on how you got into the field of data science and cognizant after getting trained through 360 digit mg i'm really excited to you know interview you to understand how you prepared to get into this field of data science so the first question that i have for you is despite being from statistics background and we know that statistics is the backbone for data science why did you feel that you should get trained in this field of data science yeah uh, ram over to you yeah, sir yeah i'm firstly i would like to say thank to you sir i am very happy to see you again here so our entire 360 digit amg thank you so much uh, for transforming my career into data science field so as you told uh, i was from statistical background i did my masters in statistics so during my academic itself one of my professor suggested that uh, statistics plays the vital role in data science field so i just started my i then i decided to start my career in data science field so during my academics right i was like a very comfortable in theoretical part but i i am just scared of uh, programmatically in my ug itself i don't have like programmatical language so there i started to switch the data science field and programmatically so i just uh, after completion of my education i came to hyderabad and uh, searched for a lot of uh, best institutes in hyderabad so finally i joined in 360 digit mg after a bunch of suggestions from friends and other youtube channels and uh, website i just i'm frankly saying like uh, the, i just really enjoyed the course here thus like uh, here the course are like uh, very well organized with uh, 100% content like here the trainers also like you and uh, sharad sir nitin sir and uh, like uh, very they are like very professionals in this domain so the like uh, in this way i just uh, i never feel that this, uh, like this is the best platform actually yeah thank you thank you so much ram i'm extremely happy and ram you told that uh, you came to hyderabad so which location are you from ideally you firstly i just uh, i came to hyderabad uh, my cousin just is here working there so uh, i used to stay, stay there okay. okay where are you from otherwise yeah i am from vinkonda you know sir gundu district gundu district yeah so from gundu district uh and what was your undergraduation it's only statistics only statistics only so you have a bachelor in stats and a master in statistics but Wonderful. it's not involved in uh, computer science okay so the one part which was lacking was probably programming aspects yes python programming, programming etc but you actually gained that knowledge also yes. and then eventually you got into cognizant as a data science wonderful yes and ram i believe you have done your internship also through inno data techs right yes. what was your experience like and do you think it really helped you yeah uh, uh, yeah actually sir like uh, while the course perspective like uh, here the course is like uh, divided into three parts i think like in first part first part like i learned each and every concept uh, deeply from basics onwards like mean standard deviation and everything uh, i learned like what is the math and stats uh, behind each and every machine learning algorithm this like uh, first part it covers coming to the second part right uh, each and every student were able to get uh, some assessments in this assessments are like these are very close to real time scenarios like uh, which, which covers all uh, different types of data types like unbalanced data like i remember still remember i deal with unbalanced data balanced data and uh, textual data somewhat uh, voice data also second part like uh, very close as i told very close to real time scenarios right you will get to know that so in the coming to the final part uh, third phase this is vital place like uh, where we can very close to work on live projects so here i have learned from inno data tech uh, worked as an intern right from inno data tech i i got a chance to work on live projects here i have learned the entire flow of the project from building data pipelines to deployment so which includes like data where we can say data extraction or data fetching from multiple sources data cleansing or feature engineering 
and if required uh, they provided some, some tableau power bi tools also for data visualization dashboards so in this phase i have learned uh, from entire flow as i told from data pipelines to deployment which was really helped me a lot while currently i am working as a like data science field only then a uh, new technology is there but there actually some data iq one of the platform is there where we can build the entire flow a single go yes now this, uh, that one is very helpful yeah that is what uh, wonderful uh, so the knowledge that you have gained as part of the live projects yeah the things has helped you a lot is yeah. what you're saying yeah amazing a lot of people say the same and as we speak now uh we are working on at least 12 different projects uh, kalyan and uh, i also want to tell you i'm not sure whether you have seen that or not this is for the third year that our capstone project which we have given to indian school of business has won the best capstone project yeah. the final project that the students who do their 16 months program of advanced management program in business analytics they do finally projects right when they do projects companies such as microsoft facebook etc everyone give projects to isb and we won third time the best capstone project award so those are the kind of projects that we are able to get and able to give it to our students including indian school of business yeah thank you so much and uh, ram one last thing ram if you have to give one single most important suggestion to our students on how to get into this field of data science what would that be only one single most important uh, suggestion i would say like we should first we should be committed and dedicated to our work whatever it is what you love we should be committed and dedicated if you coming to the data science like i sir uh, i felt like i felt like uh, data science is not like uh, uh, somewhere we will stop learning it's, it's like question like uh, we should constantly keep learning and explore new things in data science and it's not like uh, belongs to it's not constrained to one particular domain also we should explore new things and it will be applicable to any field of suggestion basically actually from uh, currently i am working on like healthcare domain Uh, previously, I didn't work on healthcare domain, so domain knowledge also very important in data science field. So I am just trying to explore. In my team, like three four members are there. I am only the only like for data science person who is handling everything. So I am just learning domain knowledge, healthcare domain knowledge, Jalvaza handling project also. That would be the great one to me. Like, yeah, that's what. So you're saying that having the knowledge of domain is going to help a lot. and uh, as you know we have 70 plus domain analytics marketing analytics sales analytics financial analytics life science and care analytics sports analytics geospatial analytics you name it we have it so yes whatever ram has told is absolutely right that one needs to have knowledge about domain and the first point which ram was telling is that dedication and that is extremely important friends all of our friends including ram they got jobs not just by luck it's not just based on you know some references it's based on their hard work and their dedication no matter what we teach how much we teach how much exposure we give as part of life project it's ultimately your commitment your your dedication which will help you take there thank you so much ram once again for giving your uh, time and i'm really excited to see you yeah yeah sir thank you so thank much you. sir once again thank you so much for connecting thank you, thank you so much thank you so much ram see you yeah bye sir thank you so bye. much thank you